Got a new session bassist, and this is one I've been hoping for for a long time, actually. And it's upright bass, yay! We finally have an upright bass play instrument, brand new, custom made for contact, for complete control keyboards, and it looks and sounds really good. So we're gonna have a quick look at it today, help you decide if this is something you need. So let's just see what it's all about here. And uh, I've got a little idea that we're gonna play around with something that I've already worked on. So here it is loaded up in Contact 7, and the two presets you're gonna get with Upright Bass are these Upright Bass and then Upright Bass Melody. And the Upright Bass, when you load that one up, all it's gonna do is load patterns. I like to load up the melody because you get the patterns and you get the melody key switch, which allows you to just play notes on the keyboard like you would normally. So we're gonna to stick to just the melody one right here. Let's load that up. And now to get the patterns to play, I just gotta choose the right key switch so you can see C, C sharp, D, D sharp. Those are getting me my melody notes. Muted. Harmonics. And then bowed. And if I go over to these red keys, or the red key switches up on the screen here, we can hear the pattern. So if I hold down the first one, we're gonna hear the E1 pattern. Maybe the next one. Okay, let's get, we're getting some kind of muted, slappy stuff. Oh, that sounded really good, actually. Okay, and we're gonna take this little pattern. I'm just gonna drag it right onto my track. So let's have a listen to that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now let's go to that one that was a little more muted. So let's drag that one onto a track. You see how easy it is. All you gotta do is drag it right on. So let's have a listen to that one. Okay, so we can see the notes that are played. F sharp is triggering the pattern that we're hearing. So if I get rid of that guy right there. Okay, so then we, what else do we have? We got these purple notes. I think that's what we're hearing when we play that pattern. But it looks like if I want those little muted notes, I'm gonna have to move this down to that B flat. So let's take it down right there. So now we got. Let's take this guy right here and we're gonna drop in that little that slide. The slide works really nicely. Um, the muted notes are working really nicely, but it looks like I'm kind of having to plug those in from the MIDI of the pattern. It'd be nice to have all of the MIDI from that loop. So maybe I am missing something. Let me know in the comments if I am missing something there. So let's have a listen to a few more patterns and see what this thing's all about. This is where you definitely want to go and quantize the heck out of all of your notes. The other thing you can do is quantize the ends of your notes. So in Cubase, you just hit quantize lengths and it quantizes the lengths of your notes so that they don't overlap as well into the next pattern. So let's have a listen to this one. Here we go. And I'll play along with some piano. And then of course, at the end of your little riff, draw in a note, a C. That's going to be kind of our last note. And that's all you got to do. Now you got your last note of the song, right? So it was triggering a pattern for a second. And as soon as I let this note off for this, this pattern right here, it just switches over to that the last note. You have to keep the key switch down when you're in the melody mode, because otherwise, as soon as you let your finger off, it's going to switch back over to melody and let you play individual notes. So you could be like, See what I just did there? As soon as I take my finger off, it switches over to just playing notes. So now I'm going to play a C for me. So let's have a look at a few more of these patterns. And so what they've done with this one is you hold down a chord and you hold the pattern 
and uh, it will do the walking bass and use the appropriate notes for that major or minor chord. So watch what happens when I hold down on this basic walking bass, bass patch a chord. There's major, let's make it minor. Here right away we get that minor note in there. We'll go to another one, another pattern, make it major. Now let's do like a diminished chord. And then a major one. Back to the original. That is so cool. Okay, so know the chords that you need, the basic chords, get those in there. So what you could do in a program like Cubase is you could go add track and put a chord track in there. We're just gonna mute that chord track and we're just gonna start drawing in some chords. So maybe the first one is C minor and then the next chord is F minor. Next chord is D diminished. And then the last chord is G seven. There we go. Now you take those chords and you drag them on top of your bass track. And look at that, we get the actual chord. So I can glue those together. So let's take these bass notes and take them up the octave. Now all I have to do is play along with the pattern that I want. And then the other thing I want to do is probably take this up the octave because this is going to trigger a really low pattern. So let's take it up the octave so that we get this. Okay, so just with basic chords, dragging and dropping them, and then choosing the pattern that you want. If you knew the chords for your song, you wouldn't even have to know how to play the keyboard to get this stuff in there. So now what I'll do is I'll switch over to my little idea that I've got. I've got a bass line in there, and that was made with a different bass patch. And I'm just gonna draw in a C1 so it knows which articulation to play. I'm getting some notes that are just way too loud. So what I would probably do, because I played this on a different patch, I'm gonna select all the notes and just bring the velocity down so we don't trigger those really loud ones until I want it to. Now what I can do is take this guy right here, and let's move it down to that muted articulation or that trigger right here. Sounds so good. And then let's try a slide on this one right here. So we're gonna take this one down here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's do one more thing. Let's go and duplicate this and we're gonna compare this to the old classic upright bass. It came with Contact, one of my old favorites. I've used this on hundreds of pieces of music. Let's go and just type in upright bass and we should be able to find our patch from the Contact Factory Library which is probably this one. Yep, there it is. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, compared to... The old one was good, it served a purpose, but this new one has a lot more character to it. And we've got a lot of control also over the sound of it. If we go over to the amps and effects, you can see that they've got some effects on here giving it either a more aggressive sound or a warmer sound or whatever. And then you've also got choice of different microphones and stuff like that in your signals. So a whole lot of control over how it actually sounds. So very cool stuff. I'm really excited that they finally are putting an upright bass. So I'm gonna play this out now with a little lead on the Osmos. Let me know what you guys think about this new Play Series instrument. I'm actually quite excited about it and I'm definitely gonna be using it a lot. Glad that it's finally here.